everybody. I think we'll make some dinner rolls for supper tonight. Okay, what you're going to need is um, start with three cups of flour, two tablespoons of your instant yeast, a third cup of sugar, a teaspoon of salt. Then you want to warm up your milk. You're going to need one and a half cups of warm milk. And then you're gonna need five tablespoons of melted butter and one egg. Now we're just gonna dump everything right in this bowl. And we're gonna mix it up really well. Just put everything right in. And then once that all mixes up really good, we might need to add in a couple more cups of flour. We're just gonna add in a little bit at a time just enough until the dough starts holding together, okay? This recipe for these dinner rolls are so easy, and it only takes, you put it in your grease bowl, afterwards cover it in plastic wrap, and then a towel for 30 minutes, and then you're gonna punch it down, and then you're gonna take the dough, and you're gonna Divide it up into 24 equal pieces because you're going to make 24 dinner rolls. And then we're going to let that, after we shape our rolls, I'll show you that when we get to that step. And then we're going to let that rise for 30 minutes and then we'll bake it. Okay, let's get this mixed up. And I shall get a couple more cups of flour. use your dough hook all right now I'm just gonna I'll measure so I'll make it easier for you all right I got grabbed a third cup measure all right I'm gonna put in one cup and then we'll take it from there so total now that's four cups of flour Make sure you spread down the sides of your bowl if you need to. This is a very fast dill recipe for dinner rolls. Remember, you want to sew the dough. The cell starts coming together, starts forming into a ball, and release them from the inside edges of the bowl. sticky so we're going to need to add more flour but let me just show you where we're at okay that's with four cups okay and as you can see it's still still sticky so we need more flour all right there's a third cup i'm going to put in for now Okay, I only ended up putting in one third cup of flour after 
you want it so it's still a little bit sticky like that okay and I got a bowl and I just used Crisco short along with a paper towel and I greased it really well and now we're going to take the dough out and we're going to put it in this bowl and we're going to cover it and let it cover it with plastic wrap and then a towel and then we're going to let it rise for only 30 minutes okay this is a very fast recipe and it makes delicious dinner rolls okay that's that now get it covered see you in half hour Okay. The dinner roll yeast has doubled and then some. Okay, gonna flour your counter. Punch it down. Take it out of the bowl. Okay. Now this should make about 24 rolls unless you make some bigger, okay? So cut it in half. Put that over there for now. Okay, we should get 12 out of this. Cut this in half. And you should get six out of each one. Cut it in half again. And now we should get three out of each one. Like I said, unless you want them bigger. And I don't know, I might want them bigger. Nice big ones. Okay. Now what you do is you take it, smooth right here on the bottom, hold it together, bring this side up, bring this other side up, just like that. So you get it all up like a little bundle, okay? And you can give a little twist, then just take it, put it on the counter and gently roll it, okay? Now I'm gonna make some nice big rolls. All right, so I've got eight here instead of 12, which I normally do 24, but I'm only gonna get 16 because I'm making them so big. Okay, just like that. Okay, again, see the smooth? Flip it over, bring the sides up all the way around like you're making a little bundle pouch. Just like that and pinch it together, okay? And then just put it down and just gently rock roll it, just like that, okay? One more time. Just like that, so you got all of it. And then just roll it. There you have it. Okay, let me get the rest of these done up. Okay, I have 18 rolls here. I usually get 24 out of it, but I made a few bigger ones. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover it with plastic wrap and we're gonna let it sit for 30 minutes and you can be preheating your oven to 375 degrees and it's going to take anywhere from 10 to 12 minutes to bake the rolls. And if they seem to be getting a little bit brown, then just take some foil and just put over it, but just tent it, okay? So we're going to put plastic wrap over it and then cover it with a towel 
And 30 minutes later, we'll put it in a 375 degree oven. All right. Okay, my rolls are done. It took 12 minutes. And 375. Okay, let me get my little knife. And we'll try one. A little butter. Look at how nice and soft they are. That's really nice, though. Mmm. Really good. Right, I gotta turn it off and do the other one.